My, 33M, wife, 32F, said her ex's name while we were having sex, my wife and I have been married for four years, and we have a two-year-old. We dated on and off for three years before getting married. Last night, she said her ex's name while we were having sex. She gave some weird excuse as to why. She said it's a common name, it is a very common name, and must have heard it recently. I wasn't going to start a big argument with her at that time. It has since gotten me worried about why she did that. For some background, this was a guy she was with for a couple of years before I met her. They met in college and were serious for some time. They had broken up when I met her and decided they were better as friends. They were friends for years before they dated. We started dating, but he remained in the picture. He was her best friend first and foremost, and I grudgingly went along with it for her. Several months passed, and I put my foot down, saying it's too uncomfortable for me. There was some resistance, but she steps back from him. Every time we broke up, she was with him. We finally reconciled and got engaged. He apparently didn't know this and stopped talking to her. She was devastated, which should have been a red flag. We talked about it, and she was happy to have chosen me. Now, after what has happened, I'm tempted to see if she's gotten back in contact with him again. I know she's checked in on his social media because I saw the searches on the laptop. She doesn't know I know that. I don't think she'd cheat, but this guy was always different for her. Do I just confront her? Do I start going through her phone? Or am I being paranoid? Update 1, I did my investigating before talking to her. I went through his social media first, but nothing explicitly saying anything was going on. There were a few mentions of his love in some comments, but that could mean anything. I did look at the phone bill, and there looks to be calls with him pretty regularly. On to hers. I was able to get on her phone when she was asleep. She must have forgotten I knew the code nothing in texts and no weird calls. So she deleted them, I did find some apps she tried to keep hidden like Snapchat and Kick. Sure enough, there's their conversations. And pictures. I took pictures of all of it on my phone to have as proof, she exploded when we had the conversation and left with our child to her mother's. I contacted a lawyer and am in the process of a divorce and figuring out custody. I'm heartbroken and am more angry than anything else. I'm angry at her, but I'm also angry at myself for dismissing so many red flags. ETA, the conversations I found were confirming they were having an affair. The pictures were ones they were exchanging including nudes, update 2, my wife was cheating on me for quite a while with her best friend. I found out after some digging. Note, the child is mine, we had our blowout almost two months ago, and shortly after that, she moved in with this guy. I've stood my ground and am not letting our child go there. I thought there'd be more of a huge fight, but I've had our child primarily and I'm so grateful for it. Nothing is finalized in any way yet, but I am just doing my best day to day. I cry every day in the shower, but having my child helps more than I could ever express. I've been no contact with my wife for many reasons since this all started. People love to update me on her. People that knew us, people that were even just my friends. They see something on social media and think I need to know everything. I've tried to say that I don't need to know. It's been creating more chaos for me emotionally. It makes me angry more than anything. One of those good people screenshot some posts slash comments on social media, which I can't seem to find myself. Maybe it's been, deleted. Anyway, she's pregnant. I hope to God it isn't true, but I got this stupid screenshot of a post he put up with a pregnancy test. What the actual hell? This heartless woman seems to keep stabbing my heart and tearing it into more pieces without any care. I cannot believe I married her. I cannot believe she would be this careless. And why do people keep sending me all these updates? I just want to divorce her and take care of my child. I'm rambling and so pissed I nearly punched a hole in my wall. I needed to vent and say somewhere what an absolute horrible human being she is, update 3, some time has passed, but I'm just as hurt and angry as day 1, but priority remains to be my 2 year old child. I initially said he could not be anywhere near my child. I have since had to relent because of my lawyer's direction. When I kicked her out of our home. She went to him. She has since, moved in with him. I still have to figure out, co-parenting with her. For the record, I have my child most of the time. My STBX has been okay with that. It bothers me, but I'm also relieved. Shouldn't she want to be with her child? I don't know if she's too busy with that new life or what, but I'm not going to rock that boat. I've cut out anyone trying to give me play-by-plays of her life. I blocked all her social media and been no contact. I'm still just as hurt. I feel like our relationship was a complete lie. She's already moved on. Does anyone have tips on navigating co-parenting? Update 4, since my ex is in a hurry to have her life with her AP. We are now divorced. I've also gotten primary custody of our child. She didn't fight it at all. She didn't even seem to care. There is a schedule for her to have our child, but I won't hold my breath. I'm happy to be past this stage, but I'm so sad for my child, who is too. I can only hope I can do enough that they don't recognize their mother ignoring them. I plan to keep her social media blocked. I will admit I peaked recently, and it was all her and her AP. 
It's disgusting. I do hope that falls apart for her. I'm still angry about that part. I need to keep telling myself she isn't my problem anymore. My focus for now is my child and myself. Update 5. I feel like things have settled more. My child and I have gotten a good routine going. I only text my ex-wife regarding our child. She allowed me to have primary custody, and even though I reach out to remind her, she's not seen our child. Therapy has been a godsend in helping me navigate it. Imagine my surprise when I receive a text from her over the weekend saying she will be stopping by. I thought wow, she might actually use this weekend. Now I hate she lives with her AP, but I'm not going to impede my child's time with their mother, she comes, and I'm expecting her to pick our child up. No, she's literally stopping by. The reason? She wanted to tell our child in, person that she's having a baby and they, will have a little brother or sister. I can't help but think she's thinking she's hurting me with this news. Anyway, she says she's busy and has to go. That's it. I was furious but kept it together and let her leave without saying a thing. We went about our day, and I doubt I will hear from her much. It only hurts me because of how unfair this is to my child. I'm still waiting for that relationship to implode, which I hope is soon, update 6, since that last disaster of a visit from her, she has had zero contact with our child. I am not standing in the way, but she has no interest. It breaks my heart, but my child doesn't need a narcissist in their life. I have resolved to get out and enjoy nature more. I have some camping trips planned with my kid. I got all I needed to take them hiking with me too. We have done some already, and it's been enjoyable. I'm still in the gym, and therapy has been a huge help. Thankfully, I can work from home. I don't try to keep up with her much, but I will hear things. She still lives with him, and they are engaged now. Rumor has it that he has been seen at the local bars more often complaining about the stress she's causing. One of my friends bartends and has heard him himself. I am at a point where I don't care but it feels good, update 7, I've been away from Reddit mainly to focus on my life with my child. There's no real update on her interest in our child. I have not prevented anything, but she's yet to come around. Last I updated, she was expecting with her AP. I received a DM from this AP. She had their baby. This wasn't the reason for the DM though. He found she's cheating on him. Shocking, I know. This guy has the audacity to turn to me for advice. I haven't responded. I do recognize that his child and mine are half-siblings. I do not want to block anything in that respect. However, I am not interested in helping him out either. Things have been settled in my life. My child is happy, and I've been feeling better than I have in a long time. I do not want to get sucked back into her nonsense. Update 8. It has been months since I have had any contact with my ex-wife. I honestly don't know what she's doing or where she is living. She could even be in a different state at this point. I do keep sending the reminders of when it is her turn to spend time with our toddler, but she hasn't responded to any of those in a long time, as for my life, I recently moved to a different city but the same state. I wanted somewhere further from her drama. I felt like where I was living had too many men she had been with, to put it bluntly. My child has been doing great. And we have been regularly going camping along with zoo trips and other places. I have gone on a few dates, but nothing came of any. I don't think I was looking for anything serious, just to test out dating again. I don't know if I can say I'm past it all, but I can say I have zero feelings towards her. Moving on still feels ongoing for me, update 9, things are good in my life. My kid is happy, and it's all that matters. I'm not dating, but I may change my mind on it. My ex has been on a downward spiral since we divorced. She had another child and left them. She's with some other new guy from what I have heard. I also heard she's been using drugs regularly. All in all, I am thankful to be away from her. I still grieve my old life, but I feel hopeful for the future again.